Well, it'll look like that. <laughs> you what? It's Adam Ant. The man used eyeliner, like Van Gogh used a paintbrush. <laughs> Before my time, of course. I bet you had him on your bedroom wall. Wish I did now, he might cover the cracks. <clears throat> we'll get it sorted, man. <sighs> the repairs come to over £3,000. How am I going to hope to raise that kind of money, huh? You could have a car boot sale. I don't have a car boot. It was only an idea. Well, as ideas go, it made as much sense as dar diddly flaming qua <laughs> Well, the insurance cop up. Oh, I'll ring him. Put it down to wear and tear. They'd only pay out a fraction, if that. No. There's no point pretending. I'm going to have to find the money myself or watch the house fall down around my ears. No, no, it's not a problem, honestly. Are you sure? Because I can always get the bus over. OK, OK, thanks, Mrs Quinn. I mean, Kate. I'll see you this afternoon, then. OK, dog, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Who was on the phone? Oh, it was nobody important. You can't fool me. I know very well who it was. Yeah? I did enough whispering on the phone to your father when we were courting. Mainly because my dad thought he was a good for nothing. Right. But is he's good for you. So you can talk as long and as loud as you like. As long as it's not mucky. <laughs> I'll bear it in mind. Right, well, that's me. Better get off for my ship, else Roy will be fretting. See you later. Yeah. See ya. I can't believe our tyres blown me out at last minute like that. Flaming flu. She's got a better offer, that's what it is. I really needed that holiday. Yeah, well, you can cheer yourself up by coming along to singles night. It's not speed dating again, is it? No, no, there'll not be a single stopwatch inside. Good. Can't be doing without speed dating, me. And I thought all your dates would be speed dates. <laughs> Are you coming, Sal? Oh, I doubt it. I wouldn't want the smell of desperation going through the clubs. Oh, you shouldn't be so sniffy. You crack on your single now. Well, talk is cheap. This would show you're serious. Certainly show Kevin. Yeah, yeah, Webster. Webster. Oi, that's enough clucking. Let's see some more eggs in them baskets, please. Could have been me talking that. What's up? Nothing. Oh, come off it. You better face the length of Dean's Gate all morning. <sighs> and it's Kieran. I've been helping him look for work on the net. Oh, well, good on you. It's not worse than a kept man. Yeah, well, that's the point, isn't it? I shan't be keeping him. We found his dream job. Great money, great kitchen, everything he's dreamed of. But not local? How far away? Oh, between four and five thousand miles, depending on which port he's in. Oh, he's on a boat? Caribbean cruise ship. Uh... For three months. Or oh, five or six holiday romances, depending on how you look at it. Oh, come on, you can't think like that. Well, not this morning, anyway. Frank Foster's coming in. But he, well, he's not got an appointment. Yeah, he doesn't need one, so start flashing those marlas, cos he's just walked in. All right. Frank, it's nice to see you again. Good to see you, Carla. Mm. Here's a new face. Not like I'm complaining. <laughs> this is uh, Michelle. She's training manager. Nice to meet you, Mr Foster. Call me Frank. Pleasure's mine. <laughs> Come in. Please. Can I get you a brew? I've got some biscuits. We're fine for now, lad. We really appreciate you seeing us. Can't tell you how much. No, no, it's fine. We always said that if one of us, um... If one of us didn't make it, that we'd speak to the family. And I'm so sorry that I couldn't make the funeral. I really wanted to, I just couldn't. It's all right, lad. I could barely face it ourselves. The whole thing was so out of whack with how things should be. We didn't want to acknowledge it, you know. Is that...? But yeah. Yeah, it was taking a couple of nights before we got deployed. Take it, please. Must be the last photo I've ever taken of him. He looks happy. He was happy, wasn't he? We all were. Especially that night. Quinny, uh, Luke was well on form. Cracking everybody up, he was. You know, I'd never seen him more. Oh, that's it was no like he. The head's absolutely pounding. Oh, hello. 
Are you going to introduce us then? Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is uh, Kate and Ian. It's Quinny's mum and dad. I wasn't expecting a brass band or rose petals, but a proper though might be nice. Oh, sorry, love. You all right? Yeah, fine. Well, a lot better than Steve MacDonald, anyway. <laughs> There's a steward's inquiry at Leopardstown. Cost him 30 quid. Got some lunch? No, I've eaten too. Oh, and I've just seen Janice and all. She's still moaning on about toileting her down. She reckons she's going to be on a mission at this singles night tonight. <laughs> oh, well, why don't you go with her, you know, right shotgun like? <laughs> you kidding? It's the blokes who need protecting. Ah, I thought she'd appreciate a bit of moral support. Believe me, morality's the last thing on her mind. Anyway, what are you doing packing your missus off to a singles night? Oh, no, no, I'm just thinking about Janice. Anyway, proves that I trust you. Yeah, I suppose it does. Tell you what, why don't you come, eh? We could get your dad and dear just to babysit Si, could be a laugh. Nah, I'll just stay on my side. Anyway, got my night all planned. Gonna watch Raging Bull. Well, there'll be plenty of that over the road. No, I just fancy a quiet one. But you go. Really. Anyway, it'll do you good to get out instead of having to look after me. Don't be daft. I love you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I must admit, I don't really fancy listening to Robert De Niro mumble on for two hours, so uh, I think I might phone her, tell her I'll come. Great. Thanks. It was a routine supply run, or as routine as it can get out there. And Quinny was riding with me. He was winding me up because he'd taken a tenner off me at Paul the night before. Anyway, we were approaching the base, and... Would you rather do this without me? No, you're fine, love. Gary? No, stay, I want you to. Anyway, the landmine went off. Oh, the noise. Outside for a second, and then right inside my head, buzzing and whining. And there was smoke and flames and dust, and this taste of blood and sick at the back of my throat. And even though my hearing was half gone, I could still hear the blokes through it, crying out and screaming like they'd gone mad because they couldn't believe the pain. And I came round, and Quinny was over me shouting at me that I was going to be fine. And I thought to myself, yeah, you know what? I'm still here. I've taken a hit and I've survived. Luke was all right at that stage? Yeah. He was radioing through for help. And that's when the shooting started. Pinging and, and thuds as it hit the armour on the truck. And I, all I could think to myself was being a kid in a caravan listening to the rain drumming on the roof. Except this one, Southport. I didn't know where I was or, or what I was doing there, but I was going to die there. What happened next? Well, we were sitting ducks. You know, it was only a matter of time if we stayed there. We all knew that. But I was pinned, so I, I told the lads to make a break for it, but Quinny wouldn't have any of that. So a couple of them made a dash and got to a ditch and they started to put down covering fire. Luke stayed with you. <sighs> he wouldn't leave me. <sighs> I told him to go and I kept telling him, you got to believe that. We know, lad. We know. <laughs> anyway, um, he got me out but I could barely walk. And he just dragged us out the wagon. <laughs> he picked us up and he just ran. And that's when it went crazy, and there was dust flying up everywhere. But we were almost there. And then he fell. And I'm screaming at him to get up, but one of the lads had pulled me into the ditch. And Quinn is lying there, and they're still shooting at him. And there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's been 
such a long time since I've been out chasing fellas. Well, there'll be no chasing tonight, Sal. There'll be moths to our flame. Mm. Well, I'd blow yourselves out and nip home for some moth balls, judging by this moth. Oh, so it's busy tonight. Yeah, and there's why. Singles night. Why? Old Spice, Impulse and a Touch of Despair. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not this hard up, not yet. Hey, Gail, where you going? Oh, I'm as fast as my legs can carry me. It's a singles night. I know. Oh, well, we might be young, but we're free and single. So come on, let's enjoy it. What are you having? I'll get you a drink. Mm. Hey, Sean, um, <laughs> what are you having? White, white wine. Old drink. Right. Eyes down, looking. Well, the blokes will be. Don't you think that top's a bit daring? She who does. Why leave Fred and Ginger on the chorus line? You all right? Yeah, thanks. You think she's wearing chicken fillets? I'd say mutton fillets were nearer the mark. Oh, I'd better get ready. Where are you working, babe? Student union. I'm not getting groped by geeks. I'm getting lectured by women in ponchos. At least the money's OK. Good. She's going to have to start paying rent now, cos Lord knows I need it. Didn't go well with the insurance, then? Didn't go at all. They never showed. I tried ringing, and all I got was wind beneath my wings on a loop. Right, I'm going to go. Aren't you walking me back? Oh, uh, well, I thought I might just stay for a bit. A bit of what, Jason? Are you hanging around for singles now? As if. Well, good. Cos what would you want with dog burgers when you have prime steak at home? Nothing. Because if you're feeling a bit peckish, my taxi doesn't come to light. Sound? Well, I'll see you later, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> you know a big ball that works out cheaper, don't you? Yeah, well, uh, I didn't want to put excessive temptation anyway. How much do I owe you? You can repay me by taking it easy, please. Look, don't worry, I just just wondering to set me up, you know, before Leanne gets back. That's that's all. Well, I'd be uh, happy if I could stay, but there's somewhere I've got to go. OK, well, you get off. Listen, you've done more than enough for me already. I'm... I'll be fine, really. OK, yeah. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, thanks again. Hey, Nick, you're a pal. <laughs> Cheers, ma'am. Oh, I had no idea. Yeah, well, how could you? I'd not told anyone. I couldn't say it out loud. And that's why you never went to see him before? That's why I never went to the funeral. I've been too much of a coward. Oh, don't ever say that about yourself. God knows that's the last thing you are. So why today? I don't know. Just felt right. You know, it was either spit it out or choke on it. Well, it meant a lot to him to hear that their lad was a hero. Yeah, and he was. And you know something? He would be kicking my backside if he saw me sat round here moping and oh. didn't get back out there. Gary, it's not a matter of moping. No, it's fine. It's it. fine. It's what I needed. Just to know that they didn't blame me. Well, nobody could. I did. Until today. But now, do you know something? I can face it and go back. I don't know, it's not really very convenient. Oh, let her in, ma'am. Come in, let her in. It's just I've got some very exciting news for you. And I, I just wanted to stop off and let you know in person. I think I've found a girl who'd be an ideal match for you and Mr Windus. All right. Well, that's brilliant news. Oh, come here, ma'am. Congratulations. Chuff for you. Do you want a beer or a pop? Uh, beer, defo. Ah! Rosie? Jason! Oi! 
What's your game, mate? Hey? What's going on? I just caught this purse spying on Rosie. I'm not a perv. I just wanted to give it a quick once over. Well, what are you slap me and what? The house, you idiot. My name's Phil Dickinson. Turton Insurance. Surprised to see you in here tonight. Oh, yeah, why is that? Well, it's a singles do. Thought married men were more your style. I'll take no lectures from you, thank you. Right, come on, ladies, that's what we're in the ambience, eh? What's going on there? I thought you two were mates. Oh, just get the red wine, will you? <laughs> right, I'm going home. Oh, no, stay. The night is young. Yeah, it's the only thing in here that is. Oh, I'll not be far behind you. Oh, I won't be so sure. Eh? Hey? By the fruit machine. Make it off your scale. He's a van driver from the factory. His mates call him Gaz. Oh, Ooh, he's coming over. Play it cool, girl. Make him work for it. <laughs> Evening, ladies. Can I buy you a drink, love? Um, yeah, I'll have a pint of bitter then if you're asking. <laughs> so, there you go, girls. If you've got it, you best afford it. Just um, put this on your face, it'll bring down the swelling. Hey, look, mate, I am sorry. I just thought you were one of them. A perv. So you keep saying. It's just a big misunderstanding. I mean, I've been waiting all day, and if you'd have come when you oh, were... Oh, so it's my fault? Oh, no, I'm not saying I that only it took only... this job at the last minute because a colleague was waylaid. I came here out of the goodness of my heart. And look what I got for me pains. I'm opening as Nanky Poo on Saturday. Hey? In the Mikado. Got to go on stage at the church hall with a face like this. Maybe we could buy some tickets. No, thank you. Look, this isn't going to affect the assessment, is it? Take a wild guess. You can keep the peas! Mum, I am really sorry. But any bloke would have done the same thing, wouldn't they? Hey? He might still be all right. All right. You heard him. There is no chance of a payout now, and without it, I am going to lose everything! Ah, oh, we're gutted. I packed me case. Put all my euros in and all. Then all for now. <laughs> I've got to work through my holiday now. Kids, eh? I take it for granted. Oh, yeah. Tell me about it. You know, I am that desperate for a change of scene. I could cry. <laughs> Listen, uh, I'm off to Tenerife tomorrow. Well, there's a whole gang of us going, you know. Oh, you lucky beggar. Yeah, the thing is, my cousin's had to bail out, but for sec to me job. Any road. Look, I know it's probably too short notice, but his ticket's going begging, you know, if, you, uh, if you're interested. Interesting? <laughs> hey, Lloyd, get us a cab to airport tomorrow. Oh, this year I'm off to sunny Spain. Hey, viva España! <laughs> That's brilliant, isn't Listen, sorry about putting the mockers on your birthday. Oh, it's all right. I couldn't expect you to be overjoyed about me bottle dancing again. It didn't stop me falling for you, did it? Now... I know, I understand. It's just I still need to be earning. How would you feel about Claire's old job on switch? Seriously? I like to think I tell better gags. We could work it around the school run and everything. Let me think. It's on my doorstep. I was to suit a very sympathetic boss. Got yourself a deal. All righty then. <laughs> hey, 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 what? I can't believe you're flying off with a bloke you barely know. I feel like I've known him years. It's a right laugh, Daz. It's Gaz. Yeah, well, whatever. Anyway, just think, this time tomorrow I shall be swigging down Sylvester's in my two-piece. Happy days! <laughs> How are you? All right. I'll just go and powder my nose. Right. So? Yeah, I got the job. Right, well, congratulations. When do you start? They want me to fly out this weekend. This weekend? I've got to meet the rest of the team, familiarise myself with the kitchen. I don't have to take it. Yeah, you do. <sighs> it, it will fly. You know, there's the phone, there's the internet. It's not like we won't be in touch. Well, I'll, um... I could look to my laptop then when I'm cold, shall I? It's not ideal, but let's make the best of the time you've got. I'll cook you a meal tomorrow night. Champagne, the works. Yeah? Yeah.
are you? <laughs> About as riveting as I thought it'd be, eh? So, how was your night? Ugh, you'll never guess what Janice has gone and done. Mm, try me. Oh, I'll tell you in bed, I'm shattered. Yeah, all right, well, I'll brush my teeth. I'll be through in a minute. All right. All right, love. Well, if you've been affected by any of the issues raised in Coronation Street, you can contact Samaritans on 08457 909090. Calls from BT residential lines are charged at up to two pence per minute, plus a seven pence setup fee. Mobile and other providers' charges may vary. Alternatively, you can visit Samaritans.org for details. Uh.